Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm your host Alika and today we're going to brew our Ethiopia Agaro family on the Clever Dripper. This is a really versatile brew method and this is a very versatile and simple recipe that we're going to find a lot of viscosity and sweetness and balance from this coffee. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to need a Clever Dripper or you could substitute a Bonavita Dripper if you like. A decanter, your coffee mug, your Ethiopia agar family, ground medium, like a drip coffee pot, and some kind of kettle. Today I'm using the Fellow Raven, which is a wide mouth tea kettle, but you could use your gooseneck or you could simply use a pot that you've boiled water in and we're gonna get really similar results. I'm also going to use a spoon and a scale with a timer. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, let's get our paper filter. Similar to our V60, any paper with perforations needs to be folded. And so let's give ourselves a fold across the bottom of our filter and then a fold along its length. And this will let our filter fit nicely into the Clever Dripper. Pre-wet that paper and preheat this brewer. I like to add my lid at this point, just to help this plastic reach temperature a little bit more quickly. After about 10, 15 seconds or so, whenever you can feel the heat in this burr, I'm gonna decant this into my mug to preheat the mug. And once that's fully drained through, I also like to give this a little tip upside down to get any extra water out of it. Our recipe today is going to be 20 grams of this Ethiopia agara family, ground medium. Again, that's just like a regular drip coffee, like you would put in your coffee pot or for, for a batch brew. And I'm going to put 20 grams in here. And we're gonna be using 300 grams of water set to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, which is off boiling and waiting about 30 seconds. Shake your brewer flat, that coffee nice and flat. Now, I'm gonna pour all of my water at once, starting my timer when I do so, and I'm gonna agitate it um, fairly aggressively with this spoon to evenly distribute heat, water, and to try to keep all of the grounds from building a crust or from sticking too much to the edges of our brewer. So, start my timer and pour our water. Again, pretty heavy. Let's just stir everything up. It's a really straightforward recipe. I'm just pouring all the way to 300. Now at this point, a lot of these grounds have risen up to the top. I'm gonna break that crust. And then I'm just gonna slowly stir. I'm trying to make sure I scoop all grounds off the edges of the top of this filter. Make sure all that coffee is stirred up from the bottom. I'm stirring until about 30 seconds. When I reach that point, I apply my lid and let's wait for three minutes. At three minutes, I'm going to decant this and it's ready to serve. The Clever Dripper is a really versatile brew method. Because it's an immersion dripper, we're gonna get high viscosity and sweetness. But because it's also a drip method, drawing water and your coffee through those grounds and a paper filter, we're not gonna get quite as much oils and we're gonna lose some of that um, grit and those insoluble materials that we would normally get from an AeroPress or especially a French press. A Clever Dripper is really an in-between, an immersion and a drip brewer because it's simply both of those things. This is a really great dripper to learn pour overs. We don't need specialized equipment. You don't really need a scale or a gooseneck kettle like we do for more complicated pour over techniques. But instead, all we need is some way to measure our coffee and our amount of water and we can get really consistent results. So it's a great beginner setup for pour overs, but it's also really great for experimentation. The Clever Dripper, because of its control drip rate, we can very easily see differences in grind size, extraction time, 
for water temperature. So I would recommend if you want to experiment some and really explore the variables of your brewing, try brewing the same recipes, but changing one variable. So maybe instead of using 205 degree water, you try using 195 degree water. Or maybe instead of a medium grind setting, you try coarse or fine and see what that does to your flavor balance at the end of this. This Agaro family, I really loved in this Clever Dripper. Because of that increased viscosity, this dried apricot note became apricot syrup. Chamomile in this coffee is one of the most obvious flavor notes I've ever experienced. And then it's very sweet and nutty like candied almonds. At two, let's see, three minutes, a little drip. I'm gonna take the lid off at this point to increase airflow, help speed up this drain. This should finish draining before four minutes, but honestly at this point, we've kind of reached an equilibrium in extraction, and so it's not as important how long this drip time takes. Now, we will still have some grounds here on the edges. That's perfectly fine. Like I said, we've reached a sort of equilibrium in our extraction. Once we're finished, Stop that drip. Dump your preheat water. Let's serve. If we brew this in different recipes, say a V60, this apricot is going to increase in brightness and we're gonna decrease in sweetness and texture. Again, I really like the Clever Dripper for this coffee because it brought out that deep, sweet apricot and it became more like an apricot syrup with a really great texture, sweetness, without losing the brightness of this coffee. Mm. And that chamomile note just really hits you. It's a phenomenal coffee, enjoyed a lot of different ways. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, it's really straightforward. Thanks everybody, cheers and enjoy.